If you're a fan of NASCAR today, then you probably know the name Tyler Reddick. Reddick is currently the driver of the number 8 RCR Chevy and is one of the top likely young guns that could emerge to be a superstar in the coming years. But if I told you that only a few years ago, he was actually one of the more loathed drivers, I don't know that you'd believe me. Before getting into that though, let's go a little bit back in time before that. Tyler Reddick got his first big break with Brad Keselowski driving his trucks from 2014 to 2016. And while scoring three wins, the biggest moment people remember him from in the truck series was for a crash that he wasn't actually the main person crashed in. Off into the corner, got trouble up in turn four. Oh, and there oh. goes Tyrio hard into the wall. And that's Reddick in the 19 that had the problem. Even so, Reddick managed to come in second in the points at the young age of 19. Add to this, another solid finish the following season, and it would be time to move up to the Xfinity Series. In 2017, he ran an 18 race schedule with Ganassi, and even topped it all off with a victory at Kentucky. This got him a full-time ride at JR Motorsports 9 car. The pairing proved to be potent immediately. Through the tri-oval, gotta get to the white flag. Tyler Reddick's been in this situation before. Next flag ends the race, whether it's the checkered or the caution. This is when you drive the lap of your life to get a trophy at Daytona. Oh, you Tyler's getting really beer. far in front. Elliott Sadler's going to lag back and get a big run here, but we also got the 11 and 24 forming up behind. One. Here comes one, one back. Kaz Grala. He's getting help. Come to your mirror. Come to your mirror. Elliott's going to get position on him. What's Sadler the 11 the inside? Do? Ryan Truex look to the high side. Reddick still out front. Here comes the 16 of Ryan Reed. Oh, this is going to be a photo finish, guys. We're going to bring this one right down to the line. Coming off a of turn four. High side of the white car is Reddick. Trying to get his second career win Elliot's of the season the open around draft. Daytona. This but is... to the inside, it's Elliott Sandler. A oh, photo oh, finish. Oh. Tower Reddick's going to edge him out. The future looked bright for him as he just won the closest finish in NASCAR history, four ten thousandths of a second. In the win and you're in style system of the playoffs, this was enough to get him in and eligible for a championship. For most of the season though, he wasn't all that spectacular, but through lower end consistency, he managed to make the final four with only six top fives in 32 starts to his name. But once you're in, you've got a shot. Has two career wins in the Xfinity Series. One of those coming at the biggest racetrack at the start of the 2018 season. He wins at Daytona. And for the final time, he'll work his way through turns three and four. Not getting very far away from that wall, which has got him a championship. The 22-year-old is the Xfinity Series champion. While Reddick was celebrating, the NASCAR fandom was fuming. Many saying that with the season he had, he didn't deserve a championship. As Reddick joined forces with Richard Childress, a fire was lit underneath him. A chip was firmly placed on his shoulder. And in the 2019 campaign, he quickly established himself as a championship contender and favorite with extremely great levels of consistency before scoring three wins in five races. All of it behind the two of Tyler Reddick who continues to block. Golding to the outside. Reddick goes high. Back down one. Half back here. Next two are single file here. Three quarter back. Watch for him to lay back here. Half back here. He can't get a run with what he's doing. The 20 is one back behind. Remember the start finish line all the way down at the end of the tri oval. Reddick out front. He went into the wall early from wreck to victory lane. Tyler Reddick, a winner at Talladega. He's just cruising. He's taking that white flag. You know how good it feels to take that white flag because you know if the caution comes out, you got it in the books. That's what you want to hear. That's right. Way back. Just he went to the bottom that time. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And as he comes off of turn four, he's going to collect his fifth series win. Just 23-year-old Tyler Reddick. What a day. Good run for him.
Won the championship for Junior Motorsports. New team in, new in 2019, no problem for Tyler Reddick. Don't worry about getting in hard, just float it off in there, got no pressure, still by 15, nice and easy, bring it home. Anxious times on the pit box for his mother, who is here to witness another victory. For the fifth time in the last three races, it's gonna be the two car in victory lane. Tyler Reddick does it at Michigan. Got it done. Even with the slight downgrade in performance, he still was a title favorite. This proved true as he still won at both Bristol and also at Las Vegas. Following this, he still ran in the top five in most races, and entering into the Homestead race, he had more top fives, 23, than he had top tens in 2018, 20. Against him were his two main competitors for the season, Christopher Bell and Cole Custer. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Tyler Reddick for the final time down the back stretch. The gap between Reddick and Custer, 1.4 seconds. That's the difference between a championship and running runner up. It's taken a win every year to win the title. And now Tyler Reddick, he's going to join the greats of the Xfinity Series. Tyler Reddick has won again at Homestead. Reddick had done it. He would be a back-to-back -back NASCAR Xfinity Series champion, and this time there would be no doubt in anyone's mind that he deserved it. He won six times. He had 24 top fives, and he had 27 top tens, all of these in only 33 starts. All of this with an RCR team that wasn't always the fastest car at the track, especially compared to Custer and Bell. The performance was enough to move Reddick up to the current ride that he has now, the number eight Cup Series car. And with Reddick's tenacity as a driver, who knows the limits of what he could do in the Cup Series and where he could bring RCR? Only time will tell. Until then, we can only speculate. So that's what I want y'all to do. Let me know down in the comments below how well you think Reddick's career is gonna go in Cup. And if you wanna hear more from Reddick, well, then watch the NASCAR Weekly Podcast tonight on Danny B Talks channel at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Also, if you want to hear more about Corey LaJoy, he's going to be on tonight as well. So be sure to watch. It's going to be a really fun show. But until then, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great NASCAR content. Until next time, have a good one.